everybody. Hi everyone. Welcome to Twin Set and Curls Knitting Podcast, episode 30. Wow. <clears throat> Excuse me today, I've got a bit of a croak. Rachel's got a bit of a cold. Um, I'm Jo. I'm Rachel. And we're twin sisters mm-hmm. who like to share with you all of our knitting journey and our designs. Mm-hmm. And um, we've got loads of stuff to share today. And we've got prizes. Yeah. Prize it's been three weeks since we last we had a little bit of a live on instagram when we mm. launched our cow but um but yeah we haven't been together yeah. for well we, we were we are well we met up on a saturday which was weird because it made yeah. the weekend feel like because usually you come to me on sunday if you come over to bristol yeah so it made it feel like the weekend lasted well this feels weird because you came forever. last night and it's friday <laughs> yeah it's friday july the 14th today we are podcasting um, all of the information about us and how to how to find us will be in the description box below. Yeah. Just so, so um, yeah, if you if you like this video, we'd love it if you'd like and subscribe. Mm-hmm. Um, we've got a few more subscribers to get, and then we get to a thousand, mm-hmm. which is, which is a p- important milestone. It's not, it's not quite a nice little milestone yeah. for us anyway, <clears throat> but in YouTube world, that means that we can start <clears throat> getting some money from the adverts, and we're going to be donating all of our earnings to Myeloma UK, yeah. uh, which is a charity that tries to cure myeloma, which is a blood cancer, which Rach has. Mm-hmm. And um, we'd like to put as much um, effort towards yeah. that as possible. <coughs> um, talking of myeloma, we recently had a... Oh, yeah, we did our... We raised money. We had a buy one, get one free sale. It was sale. myeloma awareness week. And we had a buy one, get one free sale yeah. on our patterns. And we released two new yeah. this year's myeloma patterns. If you watch back... Were they in the last episode? They were in the last yeah. episode. Yeah, so if you watched the last episode... Rachel, Rachel knit socks and I knit a cat and designed mm-hmm. a cowl. Using the same stitch pattern, um, yeah. but they look a bit different at different gauges yeah. and stuff. It was, they, they're, both, they're both lovely. They're called the Everybody, Everyone's Beautiful Cowl and Everyone's Beautiful Socks. Mm. And all together, so far, we've raised, we gave a thousand pounds to My Loma UK, yeah. which is fabulous for a couple of weeks. I think it's so the most we've ever raised. Yeah, no, it's yeah. great. So thank you, everybody, if you if you shopped our, our Ravelry store. Um, <coughs> Yeah, so uh, so thank you, thank you so much. Yeah, thanks, Debbie. Um, yeah, we were blown away because we'd recently had um, a charity. Um, we had a charity event in in May. In May, for my friend Becky, um, and the charity that she supports, New Life Children's Centres, mm-hmm. and then we had another one in June, and and you um, helped us again. So yeah. we just like to say massive thanks. Um, just have to apologise. We're a bit glowy today. <laughs> It's it's a we- the weather's been weird. Yeah, we haven't had raining. the weather check. It's raining, but it's warm. Um, the temperature is. Well, it's not that warm even. But eighteen degrees. I'm mine says fifteen at the moment. Yeah. But I'm definitely perspiring a bit. So it's, it's been ever so um, the weather's been ever so weird here because you it's sunny one minute and then it's mm-hmm. raining the next. But also, you can wait your your phone can say it's not going to rain all day and the next thing you know it's raining and it's going to rain for three hours and you're mm. like because my husband has been going on about the fact that it's going to apparently going to be 40 degrees oh he's been has he been, has he been listening to the daily mirror <sighs> I don't or know. the daily mail I don't know what they say it every year he was saying it and i was like how can they possibly know in two weeks time it's going to be 40 degrees when this morning they didn't think it was going to rain <laughs> now it's raining <laughs> so we have this too many times we have this discussion. It's like my husband has any engineering or roadworks we see, he has, he to, has comment. to comment about how they're doing it. And in Bristol, there's a bridge that swings open for large boats to go through. And it's been shut for about a year while they fix it. It yeah. hasn't, hasn't been, they couldn't get to it because of some boat that somebody had moored that they did a compulsory purchase order on it so that they mm-hmm. could move it and then they could get to it and mend this right. bridge. <clears throat> so in the because it affects people who come into the office because it's the main route from Temple Meads, the train station in Bristol, to the office. Mm-hmm. If you're walking, that you have to go over that bridge. Or that's the bridge you'd go over. 
and they're closing it for two weeks right. while they test. And so he's like, they've had it, they've had it for a year, shut. And now they're closing it. They've been opening it. Yeah. Now they're closing it for two weeks to test that what they've done is working. He's like, how could you get to the end of a project and then be testing that it's working? And I was like, that, I, that I, works I, a lot for people. Yeah. <laughs> but I was like, one, we know nothing about this. So why are we making comments? I was like, would you We've like... We've also been talking about it for a while. Yeah, would you like somebody to come along and critique your project? And he's like, no. <laughs> It's not going well. I was like, oh, let's shut up. But every time we go past Rover, it's like, why are they doing that first? And blah, blah. I'm like, we don't, don't know. know. <laughs> exactly. I thought to my husband, he's the same. Is it just men anyway, in general? I think it might be men in general. Anyway, so the weather's been weird. It's raining, but and then it's sunny, then it's raining again. But we're, I'm quite warm today in this. Yeah. We'll talk about this in a minute, but I'm quite warm today. <laughs> so the admin part is to talk about our cows. And announce and, some winners. Yeah. So, so we've got three, we've had three cows mm -hmm. running. One's finished, the Morris cow. Mm -hmm. got, still got two going, the Alpen Bloom and the Scrappy Socks. Um, the, the hashtags or the groups are down below in yeah. the in the. So the groups. Alpine Bloom one is only being run on Instagram. Right. So there's not a thread for it. I don't know whether to put a chat thread so people can chat about what their colours and stuff, they're on Ravelry. Maybe I'll do that. Yeah, I think it'd be good. Um, so it's a hashtag for the Alpine Bloom and the Scrappy Sock have got a hashtag and, and, a, and a group. Yeah, because that's all, that's running all, for a year. Yeah, so I've cast on the Alpine Bloom, which I'll show you in a bit. Rach cast on hers, but she doesn't like the yarn that she's picked for it. So I'm changing. So she's changing. So she's got a few things she's finishing first. So. But our cow, that cow's running till the end of September. I can't win a prize anyway. So we've got plenty of, <laughs> we've all got plenty of time to find our yarn and join in. Um, and the Scrappy Socks is going on till the end of the year. We're making, we're picking regular prizes. Yeah. Um, I'm going to do another pair of Scrappy Socks next month, I think. I might have to, I've got loads of minis, so I might mm. have to get onto my socks in a bit. Um, and then we've, the Morris Cow finished on the 30th of June. So Joe's got a Morris to show you, just if you're yeah. a new bit. So viewer, if you, you haven't, haven't seen Morris, this is my lace weight version that Joe knitted for me. So Morris is a crescent shawl. Um, he's knit from tip to tip, and it's a three by three garter rib. So three knits, three pearls, and you get these. You can't see it so well in the in the lace, lace. You? but you get like a column effect, column a gar like garter stitch columns. So he's got this beautiful lace on the, around his bottom. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lace edge, but you knit all in one. It's knit all in one yeah, tip it's not. to tip, and it's got an eye cord on the other edge. And I, I love loved it. him. <laughs> I love this one. Um, so easy to wear. So that is less than fifty. No, less than a hundred grams. Fifty grams of lace. I don't know what lace. What, I don't know what you used because it wasn't alpaca. Oh, there's it was the alpaca. Four hundred meters for. 50, 50 grams. grams. Yeah. And it was less, it was like 75 grams. It's lovely, isn't it? Um, so that's Morris. So that's Morris. So we had a, we had a cow for the Morris um, and um, three people have finished him. <laughs> yeah, three <laughs> FOs. Three FOs. So we decided that they all deserved a prize. Right. So, so there, is, there is a grand, a first prize winner. So the first prize winner is going to win Two skeins of Bird Street yarn in this lovely Luna colourway, which is a beautiful tealy, tealy blue. Yeah. And they get this lovely bag to go with it, which was from Adventures in Yarn Craft, which we print out and Pearl paid for. It wasn't a gift. It wasn't, wasn't a gift. Wasn't a gift. None, of this was, none of this was gifted. So, so that's the first prize. Yeah. And then the next two prizes. And there'll be some extra little goodies. Yeah, there were second and third prize. Well, not so the winner. Oh, look, look, the winner. Yeah, the winner. <laughs> <laughs> the winner is Doritas. I can't read your hand, mate. Doritas. Doritas. So thank you, Doritas, for knitting a beautiful I will Morris. Put on the, I'll put the names here, but I will also message them on Ravelry because this yeah. one was one on the Ravelry. Yeah. 
And the second and third, well, two second prizes, two yeah. runners-up prizes, are Fionaville and Crafty Joe 90. And they will get, there's these two skeins. Can you hold those? Which are botanical yarn um, and bird So this street. is Palmer mm. and botanical yarn from, botan from, no, bird, from bird Street, street. Oh which is a superwash merino bamboo. And this one is hydrangea rodeo, superwash merino and nylon from botanical yarn. Yeah. And then the, the, the other prize is two skeins of this colorway from Joan It's So, and it's called Peace Out. So, so will they'll be randomly, randomly selected for yeah. the other two. We thought they were kind of similar purples and yeah. stuff so that it wouldn't matter too much. Because it gets too complicated and we can't be complicated at the moment. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's all the prizes for that. And then, so thank you very much everybody who took part. Um, so now, you loved mine so this much. time, sorry, I'm going to talk over you. The reason that we're running um, the Alpine Balloon Cal on Instagram is that we're not having an FO thread. We're having just the hashtag. So prizes will be drawn, drawn randomly from, you only have to join in because we want, we haven't had a major amount of people join in our, any of our cals. And we just like to increase the numbers of people who, who want to join in. So, you know, maybe that's not how cals work other people but for us this time we're just yeah yeah and we think it's a beautiful pattern yeah the alpine bloom mm. so um hopefully and hopefully if we talk about it we'll try we will be a bit better about talking about it on instagram and stuff that i've been posting all my other yeah, people progress. will see yeah mine's, other, been, mine's been on hold for a little bit while i finished another thing other people will see um and realize that they're knitting one they can join in our cap on their own prizes maybe we should come up with a prize and show the prize yeah. I don't know how that works necessarily. I better. think we can do that in August. Yeah. Because people still yeah. get, as long as we give people enough time to join in. So then, so we're 12 minutes in and we haven't even got to the end of this video. So then last... Does it matter? No. The last episode... It doesn't matter, you're right. <laughs> Our Chill. podcast. Chill, Rachel. Do what you want. I'm so hot. <laughs> <laughs> the la in the last podcast... Pod podcast. Podcast. <laughs> we had this lovely little notions pouch from bird street yarn as a giveaway and lots of you commented and it was lovely to see what yeah what everybody's knitting, be knitting was so this is it's lovely it's got this lovely fabric inside and there are scissors and stitch markers and a tape measure so the winner is carrie brunsberg so this you carrie yeah so i will get in touch with you um Carrie's knitting socks. Actually, for the first no, we're not. Time. We're not doing that on when we do it on YouTube. On YouTube, I'll you put your name here. Yeah, you need to get in touch with me um, on our probably our Gmail is best, trendsetandpearl at gmail .com. and let us know, know your, your address, details, yeah, and, yeah, and that will be coming your way. Yeah, Carrie's knitting socks for the first time. Wow. So hopefully, Rachel. Rachel's hoping that she'll get as addicted to socks as Rachel. <laughs> Because she want you want Eddie to knit socks. I do. You? They're just lovely. They're just the perfect project. Okay, we've got one more bit of that. Yeah, we thing. have. <laughs> so for June, every month we pick a winner from the Twin Set and Pearl. What are you knitting from Twin Set and Pearl Patterns thread on on Ravelry? And June's winner is Alison Burnett. So Alison wins a pattern from Ravelry. Any pattern. Any pattern. doesn't have to be one of ours. Um, it can be, but if, it does, if you want a different pattern, mm -hmm. that's fine. We will buy a pattern for you, Alison. So please um, get in touch with yeah. us. And let us know which pattern you would like. Mm -hmm. And they... And it's and it's actually easy to do that, isn't it? You buy a pattern and gift, you can gift it to somebody. Yeah. Is that how you do it? Oh, yeah, you yeah. gift it to somebody. Just need your Ravelry ID. Yeah. So if you... Um, which is good when you're doing it on Ravelry. Yeah, which yeah. I was chatting to somebody about that flock and mm -hmm. saying that when we've got our buy one, get one free sale, mm -hmm. if you've got our patterns but you want to give money to the charity that we're supporting, mm -hmm. buy it and gift it to somebody yeah. else. 
Yeah. Just an idea for you. We had a strange thing happen though. Um, somebody bought the fizzy pop shawl because Joe had a little plucky knitter, which is quite a famous luxurious yarn brand, yarn label, did kits for Joe's fizzy pop shawl the other weekend. And so they had a little flurry of people buying the pattern. And a lady, then I got a thing from PayPal saying that there was a dispute about this purchase. And she was saying that it was somebody fraudulently purchased the fizzy pop shawl, <laughs> which sounds ridiculous to me. Anyway, I personally, if somebody wants to go to that length, they don't want to pay for the pattern. I just did, gave her a refund. I was like thinking, you know, you're ridiculous. Have the money back. But they keep the pattern. It's not like they give you back the pattern. Mm -hmm. So it's just, and then I got a thing from PayPal saying, we're sorry, we can't cover you in by insurance because you admitted it, you were at fault. So me giving them the, re the refund, oh, right. then I admitted it was my, I didn't fraudulently buy Fizzy Pop. I can have as many copies of Fizzy Pop as I want. <laughs> anyway, it was ridiculous. And I just, I don't worry about things like that. I just deal. But it was a bit of a strange thing. So we are going to, I think, have to put on our... No refunds. No refunds. Because it's just a, such a weird... It's a digital download. You instantly get it. Yeah. So, yeah, we're going to have to say somewhere. We've had a couple of weird things happen, haven't we? Mm -hmm. We had the lady who thought she was buying it in French, French. and none of our patterns are in French. Just, in French. you know, disclaimer. I eventually... I, <laughs> if it was in French, it wouldn't make sense. Neither of us speak French. Well, I could speak a little bit, but I couldn't write a pattern in French. No, and then the... Um, I, I tried to refund her, and it wouldn't let... PayPal for, as having problems and wouldn't let me. So I wrote to her and said, choose a pattern in French a pattern you want that's in French, and I will put, buy it for you, up to the value of Cecil. I never heard back from her. So. <clears throat> we're watching her Ravelry group yeah. to see if she knits a Cecil. So we're very, we're very <laughs> no, we're easy going. We don't really, we don't really care. We're going to stalk that, her until she... Yeah, if you don't, if you can't afford our patterns, let us know. We will, we A, we give a discount if you watch our podcast. Yeah. And B, we... We give we, so yeah. much charity. We, want we would give to you a pattern. Things. We so, really yeah, would. We really anyway, would. so <laughs> moving on. <laughs> Alison Burnett won the prize from June for TMP patterns. Yeah. And her and her sister are having a mini Bridgerton sock along and they're both knitting Anthony socks. So I, well, we were starting to talk about whether people fancied having, so after the, um, Alpine Blue. We might sneak in another, but we're thinking of doing a Bridgerton sock along leading up to season three of Bridgerton yeah. being released in December. So if we did like October, November, yeah. December, that would be good. Yeah, so I've. It would. I've got 14. And I was just thinking, I've got two whips. Whips. <laughs> I've got 14 Bridgerton sock patterns. Mm -hmm. There is another one in the works for King George, and I'm thinking of doing Colin and Penelope a special sock edition for season three. So we will, um, we'll see. But I need, I personally gave my, gave a friend of mine the choice of my socks I hadn't, you know, I hadn't worn to choose a sock, and she chose Queen Charlotte which is one of my favourites. So I'm going to have to re-knit. I think you need Queen Charlotte to go with King George. I know. So I need to re-knit mm. to keep Queen Charlotte. But yeah, so that was an idea, our idea for our net, for a sock along starting after the Alpine Blue. Yeah, and whips will count because mm. my whips are going in. <laughs> I, unless I've done them by then. Yeah. I can't see that happening. No, I can't. You might have finished one. I've done two socks. I mean, as in oh, one of the two. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely want the Christmas at Bridgerton finished for Christmas. Right. Given that they were started not last Christmas, two years but ago. the Christmas yeah. before. <laughs> right. Yes. So, right. now we'll move on to the... Shall I talk what about my wearing? new design? Well, we'll talk about what we're wearing, then we'll talk about new designs. Okay, fine. Right. Just, where was new designs on the list? They weren't on there yet. 
<laughs> right, so Joe is wearing Labellia from Ready Set Raglan by Pom Pom. Um, it's got this lovely Estonian flower stitch down the raglan. Yeah. And it's knit in bamboo cotton. King, King Coal bamboo cotton. And I'm a bit jealous because mine's this mine's knitted in wool. wool. <laughs> Actually I've calmed down a bit then. Um yeah, and it's like a like a reverse stocking stitch with this lovely It's beautiful flower. And you knit it in stocking in pearl. I I did it. Other people well, like in the instru in the instructions they tell you to turn it the other when you're on the body mm -hmm. to turn it the other way and knit, but I li pearling. I like pearling. <laughs> I know I'm weird. Um but yeah, I love it. I love this colour. Everything about it. I've got one ball left over mm -hmm. and some oyster. I'm gonna do a stripey. And I think I'm gonna do stripey. I was thinking of doing a Sari Norland t shirt in the oyster. Mm -hmm. It's got so many bobbles. <laughs> And her easy bobble is to knit five, pearl five together. It's not happening. <laughs> you can mm. crochet it together. Mm. That's a bit slower as well. Mm. Don't know. Anyway, I think it might just have to be a um, stripey, yeah. stripey, tolstity, tolstity, or a uh, esque, like a raglan, or one of these, like a. Yeah. I don't know. Anyway, yeah. and I'm wearing the you may top by Isabel Kramer and this is knitted in it's your one of your favorites isn't it yeah it's the pattern the pattern is yeah it's a lovely pattern it's knitted in Debbie Bliss find on a gall and I can't remember the cut it's been on the podcast before I knitted it Does, can, you, get, can you still get Debbie Bliss find on a yeah gall? from Love Crafts Debbie Bliss yarns do it only available from Love Crafts or you might find it in a local yarn shop that's got some left over I think that this was from that from a mm. so this took two balls it's quite prop I'm not going to stand up but I love this yarn. I've got two sweaters worth yeah. of it. And I can I was I've, a... I've got in a project bag somewhere a what was it called? The Andrew Mary one with the, you did with the pink no. Pink velvet? Pink velvet. I've got one of those ready to go. Yeah, so this is lovely pattern and I knit my plum in it. Mm, you did that you've got mm -hmm. yeah and i love the yarn and i love this color because it drives my mother-in-law mad <laughs> <laughs> no she always comments when i wear it we were just commenting before we started that rachel goes with the plant and i go with the curtains so we've slightly like from you know coordinated our whole it's like we planned it the whole thing <laughs> right so <clears throat> quickly i'll quickly talk about two well not One's not new. We've seen one before, and the other one is this last month's botanical yarn sock club sock, which Joe very proudly designed. Yes, it was your idea. So these are the Happy Kiss socks, and they've got this little twisted stitch that runs down the front. Probably you have to put on the sock block actually. So it's got a panel down the front with garter in I between. Think it's really cute. And this little twisted stitch that's like little kisses all the way down the front. And then it's just a little bit of it on the back. And yeah, so these are available, these are available now from Botanical Yarn, the pattern, and the yarn, which is this lovely summery. What's it called? It keeps kind of Happy Kiss colourway. Oh, right. We always name the colourway after ah, the pattern. Right. <clears throat> yeah, so those are for June. And I can't show you July's yet because they've not been launched. Not been launched and but they it's, will usually, be... it's usually further into the yeah. month, isn't it? But next weekend, so this is the 14th, so on the 21st, this pattern will be added to Twin Set and Pills Ravelry shop. And these are the Snowbell socks from Ju January this year. So we get to publish this year's. Um, I think you should put all of the 22 into a book. Mm, yeah, I could do. An e-book. Yeah, so it's got this lovely 
Maybe hold it so you yeah. can not cover your face. It's got this it. lace kind of bell, which I tweaked from, it's similar to the advent wrap that I designed last year. I like the way the rib goes in. Yeah. The <clears throat> and then it's got it on the toe. And it's got, it's got a little bit on the front, in front of the toe when you, when you wear them, it's quite cute. If you, obviously in the shoe mm -hmm. you wouldn't see, but if you just wear them. Well, if you wear them with yeah. your Birkenstock, it's just And it's this lovely, this, you can't get this yarn anymore because it was for the exclusive to the club. But it's a lovely tonal, so any tonal. Yeah. Or, or any yarn, I suppose, will be lovely. But yeah. So those will be out on Friday, next weekend, with a discount. Mm -hmm. uh, that'll, be, that'll be on Instagram. Yeah. Um, like the news, but they'll be in the Ravelry shop. Cool. Yeah. So now moving on. We're moving on to FOs. I don't have any FOs. I have this three. Time. I have three FOs. Um, let's start with the. <laughs> so I are finished. You putting, are you going to put it on? Yeah. I Even finished. You're hot. Yeah. Excuse me. I finished my woolen flower cowl. Um, Does it work for the other way? That you were going to you mean that to way? Wear that first? Yeah. Oh no, I don't. I don't know actually. I've blocked it yet. Yeah, I suppose it does. Um, for my in my coat. Mm. Yeah. So this is how I plan to wear it, and I've, I haven't cut. I haven't sewed in the last end because I did a Stretching crochet. Off. Oh no, crochet. A crochet binder. bind off. Yeah, that. And it's flared quite a lot. Mm. So I wore it, I put it on the other day and it looked, it did look okay. You could wear it as a snood. Yes. So I, ha I took some pictures. Did you ever actually. wear a snood? <laughs> <laughs> no, so I think it looks right, it looks okay. That yeah, I like the fact you can see all the colour. I didn't yeah. realise you were going to be able to see all the colours. Yeah. That's always the plan, Jo. <laughs> I know, but sometimes when you wear that shape of cowl. Yeah. Like, there's a couple that Hohe's designed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't see the nice patterns. No. I think they don't lie necessarily. As This has got a lot of drapey. Yeah, and I think um, it's a big section of colour. Each yeah. one is... Probably know you know. Each one yeah. is a big section of colour, so you do see all of them. Yeah, and I think it looks lovely. I also, mm. I would like... <laughs> Navy blue one. No. <laughs> oh, I would. I would like some luxurious kind of heavy lace in like a flannel grey or like a and just knit a long tube mm. and just have it so that's how many meters it was each thing it was 600 meters altogether of heavy lace right do you know i have the most gorgeous shetland wool <laughs> is it 600 meters but is it soft and yes would you want it around your neck yeah that's what i would like in grey yeah huh. I think it might be undyed. Oh, right. Oh. Go well, back a few podcasts. I bought it in Edinburgh. Um, I also have <clears throat> quite a lot of... Um, things. It's not grey. I haven't got grey. The one I've thing got... that I wouldn't want is alpaca. Mm. It's alpaca. I find alpaca. This I started got, to find it really itchy. This has got alpaca in it. Mm. <clears throat> um, do you know what I would do? What? Treat myself to some really nice cashmere. Ooh. I've got one skate. <laughs> Cashmere wouldn't be enough. I also beautiful knitters sell. Oh, it's New Zealand animal possum. Possum, that's beautiful. I actually could keep this on. It doesn't feel too. I yeah. So I think that I'm going to have one on the needles because this was just my 30 minutes of knitting, or mm. however much of knitting I wanted to do on it because I loved it. And when you get near to the end of a colour, you want to start the next colour, so you just carry on. So we either do minis, or um, yeah. So you're gonna you don't get often get lace minis, are you? No, you're gonna sort the neck out, the bind off. Right? Yeah, I'm gonna unpick it. And um, what ha what I did you see was instead of just single crochet and through, I did oh, and you did an extra thing. thing. Yeah, so I shouldn't have done that. But yeah, I'll sort that out. And it wants, and it needs. I think it needs a block. It just does to need a block. Out a bit. It does. But it's lovely, and it's mm. exactly what I planned and what I wanted. There you go. 
We can't often say that. How many stitches do you need? I had 147. <laughs> <laughs> I just cast on until it fitted around the needle. 147? That sounds like a number that's like mean something. Yeah. It's a break in. in it's a full. When you in snooker. Oh, yes, that's why I. It's that's, 147. Yeah, that's why I right. made it that far. <laughs> And then I, so that's it, that's my FO, and that's woolen flower. Um, all the details will be below. Will be below. They're all naturally dyed. Yeah, yeah, and we've talked about them. We've talked about it quite a lot. I didn't bring them in. <laughs> Sorry, that's the one that I told you off. For yes. Talking about Joe long. told me that I wasn't allowed to talk about it till it was finished because it's too boring. <laughs> so yes, it's finished, so I can talk about it. <laughs> Yes, and I won't subject people to a week by week blow of how much of my grey cowl I've knitted. <laughs> yeah. But some people might be interested. So I've also finished my pixie. You can do that on Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> my pixie yarn socks. Oh, these are beautiful. Are going to be called the Cherry Heart socks because they're named after a tomato called Santi Santana. There's the colourway, which is beautiful. Pixie yarn what is beautiful. This, what does a tomato have to do with cherry heart? Cherry tomato. Oh, right. Okay. I think it's the brat, the tomato. It's like a Santana cherry something. Oh, right. Okay, fine. Anyway. Because that sentence didn't make sense otherwise. But I think they also look quite pretty. And there's the other one. I've knitted two. So yeah, so they're finished and I've I've nearly finished the pattern and it's going to my testers. So um, at the moment, I'm not running test knits the same way I used to. I have some faithful testers and I can't cope with all that stuff. I've no. got four day, three out of four days of the week <laughs> I couldn't write a pattern because I'm out of it. So we'll, we'll uh, yeah, Rachel we'll started some new chemo and it's having a bit of a It's harsh. Thing. So, but I can knit. I've got some round and round knitting, which you'll see in a minute. Um, so I can keep knitting, but I am sleeping a lot. Yeah, so I finished my July Bird Street socks. And it's only the 15th. Yeah, 14th, I finished them yesterday. 15th, yeah. So this was uh, this colourway is Urban Decay. Beautiful speckles. Mm. Well done, John. Is it like a green? It's green, isn't it? Yeah. And this is the label. So there's Urban Decay. And this is just sock yarn. 7525. But it's gorgeous. So I've got two. I haven't blocked them yet. This is my pink haze pattern from February 2022. Um, the Botanical Yarn Sock Club pattern, and it's just twisted stitches on off a two by two rib, and I love it. I think it looks, and then the foot's just two by two rib. I'm gonna have to knit a two by two rib sock. Mm. I really like it. Yeah. So, and they, this pattern is in like blocks of it's forty row repeat, but it's in like blocks of ten. So you just do. The twists and you think oh i just want to get on for the next twist mm. so they really do um the knit quickly and then you've got the twist the foot's plain so but look at that yarn isn't that absolutely beautiful <laughs> i seriously almost went and bought a sweater's quantity it was on the in the thing on website on <laughs> tuesday and i thought Oh, I could hear all the other sweater quantities of yarn going, but I'm still here. <laughs> <laughs> so I reined it in uh, and, um, and didn't buy any more yarn. We, we've also kind of promised ourselves. Oh, yeah, no we yarn till we, we, Yeah, we know yarn till yeah, yarn day. I bought, I've got one skein of yarn to show people today. There's a good reason for that. Though, there is, there. There's a good reason for that. Right. So you've done all your... Done all yeah, that's all, my, that's all my FOs. We're on to whips. And we've both got five. So, oh, I haven't got that. Can anyone get it? Do you want me to go and get yeah. it? Yeah. 
It's, you can talk about your salty air. Okay, oh. It's in the, it's in like a pinky botanical yarn bag. Pink and navy, I think. Mm -hmm. Right, so. I, since the last podcast, I started, I cast on my, so we had a week before the Alpine Bloom Cow was going to start. And I thought I could get this knitted in a week. Well, I couldn't. <laughs> but it's living in my yarnivore bag from Stitcher Tees. Yarnicorn, sorry, bag. In this rainbow crystal, beautiful. And I, on the board, I have split the sleeves. The yoke took me far longer than I thought it would go to, but it is beautiful. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I am knitting size six, so it's. But I, I want it's positive easy. ease. Yeah. So this is in botanical yarn in the colourway Peony Memory. And we're going to show you in a minute. The th I had three skeins, um, all slightly different, slightly dark, darker, like a fade almost in Peony Memory. But yeah, it's beautiful. And there's this lace, and it's so easy because you put stitch markers in between, and you can't really go wrong. And then I've done about four inches of the body. So I faded in the second skein. You can see where it's but, yeah. It shows up more on the camera. camera it actually, does than in real life. Real life. But yeah. I'm glad that I, it happened. I, usually I can get a yoke out. I haven't knitted this side, I haven't knitted this quite a bigger side before. Um, so I, because I faded it into the second skein and it was before that I slipped the sleeves. When I do the sleeves, they are going to match this. So I'm going to stop in a minute and bit and do the sleeves. Um, using this skein and then the final the third skein is quite a bit darker so that will be faded in just for the bottom bit and the ribbing mm -hmm. but it's yeah, lovely yeah. isn't it and yeah. it will look like it's purposely been, yeah. been done that's lovely i love this that sort of murky green yeah so now it's just round and round um on the body mm -hmm. and Anyone can do that, even a, a brain fogged <laughs> <laughs> um, middle aged woman. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so that's my. So, when did you cast that on? I cast that on, I think, like the day after we podcasted. So, like the 25th of June or something like that. Mm. And I thought I was going to get it done in a week. Yeah. I didn't even get the yoke done in a week. It's a lot of knitting mm -hmm. and a lot of stitches, yeah. but it's um, it's beautiful. So very happy, and I and I thought I'm thoroughly enjoying it. And that's all you need, isn't it, from your knitting? Really? Yes, yes it is. So that's not not bad. I don't know. So my first whip. We're not going in any particular no, just go order because it's not the first thing I started out of my group of. Whips. And you haven't actually seen it before on the podcast. No. Um, if you want to follow Joe on Instagram, you yeah. will have seen. This is in my butternut handmade bag that we got the other week. Um, Conchita on Inst Pryla. Pryla on Instagram. And it's beautiful. I really love it. Um, and it goes really well with what's in here. <laughs> so this is my Alpine Bloom. And before you show it, I show it, I'm just going to show the yarn that I'm using. I'm using um, that's what Fallen you, that's For You, for the that was the, that's the colour for the contrast. So you finished that now. Yeah, I finished that, that's how much I've got left over. I'm hoping it's going to be enough for some socks. I think I've got a mini. Mm -hmm. Like a, a dark. Um, Bordeaux? No, they're like, like whiskey. Oh, old number seven? Yeah. I've got leftover skein. Um, and that's all right, she knows. And then this is, um, I've got the thingy with me. There we go, this one. Wooden rot yarns. B. Huh? Shredden. Shredden rot yarns. Um, in the colourway Caribou. And, um, that's got some silk in it, hasn't it? Yeah, this is um, <coughs> merino Sorry, silk cashmere. So 
pie for the crew. And it's been beautiful to knit with. I've still got this much left of the first skein. Mm -hmm. And help you I have look at the front. I've done the yoke, I've split for the sleeves. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? And I'm on the body. I mean, there were all sorts of color, yuck colors used for both different mm. people. And there are really high contrast, like black and white ones. And, and then this is just like a painting. I absolutely love it. Half of it's been steamed. I mean, it was yeah, designed in, in spring in spin cycle, wasn't yeah. it? So it's is it is designing colour changing yarn, but that's lovely. I can't wait to wear it, but it's not been on pause. I have been doing the odd round. It's on pause. She got wow. told off for not doing the work she was. Yeah, she was supposed I've got to be work to do. Um, and at the moment there's some little white flecks in the yarn, which you sometimes get with hand dyed yarn. Can't be bothered to keep cutting them out, mm -hmm. but they're all in the back. <laughs> That's okay. That's handy. Um, and I don't like barber cords, so I put my I hold keep my um, sleeves on hold on on a cord on a cord, and then when I want to try it on, I have a little cord extender thing from Chowbu, just on the end of that one. If you can see it. And I just attach that long cord and then try it on. And you can get your arm through the armhole. I can get my arm through the armhole because they're not turned. Mm. Very good. It's got stoppers on the end. I haven't actually... Have I tried it on? I've tried it on my dress form. So is, did you cast that on the day after we... I cast it on on the day we... Started the... Yeah. Okay. So that's been going for two weeks? Two weeks. That's lovely. I love it. I think that colour is just one of my favourite colours. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm really loving it. Yeah. Yeah, I just changed my mind about... Well, I, to be honest, I might have changed my mind about the whole thing. Yeah. Which yeah. count? You've got to cast it on. <laughs> <laughs> I have cast it on. But, ooh. Right, so... Jomo socks. I'm not sure if I'd finished one. I think you had. Oh, actually, I no. can't remember where you had. We, I remember talking about the yarn. So this is this yarn is called Hello Queen from Botanical Yarns. Beautiful. I cast these on for the open studio, so I could knit is on. It, does it? I can't work out whether it reminds me of Blumange. That pink is like... Pink Panther. Pink Blumange. <laughs> And, or, because it's not quite fruit salad. It's no. It's not quite bright enough. But it's, it's like fruitella. Yeah. Which are opec. Yeah, mm. that's what I think. Because if, you, if you're a kid growing up in um, the 70s, in the set, well, 70s and 80s. Yeah, don't you think that opal fruits, which is like Starburst, opal fruits had such a stronger taste and then you got some fruitella and you were a bit like, mm. Mm. <laughs> It's one more natural than the other. Yeah, I think so. E numbers in a star. So these are my, these are our Jomo sock pattern, which have this cable running down the outside of each leg. Nice long cuff. I saw somebody talking on Instagram the other day, and they say, I've just finished two marathons back to back. Oh, they call them Snickers now, don't they? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so yeah, I should put on a sock blocker, but it's not for me. And I'm, let me see. It's quite a long cuff, isn't it? One. Well, it started off as just being a on the pattern. It was in, it was in self striping yarn, and I was just going to do two by two, the whole sock two by two. And you got bored. And I got bored, so I decided it needed, and it needed something else. It's got a cable. Then it became. This is a free pattern, by the way. And I've done one, two, three, four, five. Got one more cable to do, and then the heat, I start the heel. On this one. That's lovely. So they will be done soon. And yeah, so that's my second whip. And that's living in my little, lovely little sock sack bag from So Yarnalicious, the strawberries. I think it thought the colours went really well mm. together. Yes, and my second whip is my 
quite, I think last time I might have referred to it as the cafe art shawl. Actually, wanted to call it the coffee art shawl because cafe art doesn't. Cafe art is something else. Yeah, coffee and coffee art is that's appropriate for this. Yeah, so you got it wrong last time. I got it wrong last time. I've just this morning put up a call for test knitters on Instagram. So if anybody would like to test knit, please get in touch with me on Instagram. The main thing to know is that you need to be, it's only a four yes, week turnaround. it's a four week turnaround. So we're giving people a week to get their yarn and, and then, then four weeks four to knit. Weeks to knit. Um, so this is the Coffee Art Shawl and it's knit in collaboration with Bird Street Yarn. They've got some new yarn bases. You have talked about this. I have talked about it a lot, so I won't show yeah. it too long, but I am over halfway and I'm now on the decreases. I have a week to get <laughs> the other bit done, but literally no, but I, the decreases, yeah. it's, a, it's a mirror, so it's a decreases. And this bit's been blocked, <coughs> this bit hasn't. So you can tell where the... Yeah, on the colour work bit. Yeah. It's not really colour work, is it? Is it colour work? Mm. I love the border. I think it's yeah. beautiful. So um, I've got. Ooh, yeah. well, oh, you're joining them together. I just That's why. Uh, yeah, they were getting on my nerves. Um, <laughs> that much. You'll get that done this week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Quickly show the yarn for people who haven't haven't seen it before. Mm -hmm. It's um, this lovely um, superwash merino and mohair base. Um, is it super wash? Yes, it is. Yeah, and that's bean, and this is cre um, crema, and this is latte, and then that's latte mohair, mohair. and that, I that's I want a really this. beautiful mohair. I'd like that after you finish. You can have what's left over. Okay. Do you want the leftovers of that as well? Hmm. Yeah. There's going to be a lot of that left over. Yeah. So yes, that's beautiful, yeah. and it's. Um, Living in your Jezebel Bee. Living in my Jezebel Bee. No, it's not Jezebel Bee. Mm -hmm. Jenna Re Rose. Jenna Rose. We They're talked about it. We talked about them in one of the... And this is, um, this is made by my friend now. Yes, sparkles. Yeah. Right, very good. My next whip is a, a little story to go with these. Because they're only a vanilla sock. Yeah. <laughs> so, my, our lovely friends, John and Claire, did a trunk show at um, Oxford Yarn Store last November. And they had their Christmas yarn. And this is one of the colourways, Pine. And I had designed a sock called Home for Christmas. Um, and in this colourway and they were, it, was, it wasn't it wasn't released yet but it was it did cause they sold out of pine because of it well of course it's beautiful <laughs> <laughs> so me and my friend Annette went along and Annette bought a skein of pine and I said I would knit her a pair of socks in it a pair of home for Christmas socks well it's now July <laughs> and we're in we're really good friends we chat all the time but she said to me, you know that yarn? <laughs> you were supposed to be knitting socks. Can you just knit a plain vanilla pair for my son? Michael, who has got size 10 feet. So I kind of went from knitting a pattern, which does take a little bit more thought, to knitting a giant sock. Well, but it's okay, because he's the same size as my dad. So basically, I'm knitting a vanilla sock in pine, but it is beautiful, tonal, Finality of the yarn. It is gorgeous. And this is the first one. And I'm using for the first time a Knit Pro Mindful. It's a 10 inch circular, which I actually find easier for 72 sock, stitch socks. Mm. Um, 2.5 millimeter. My dad's, I now knit on 2.75. So he's got his own little <laughs> pouch of goodies that I need, I need to knit his socks. <laughs> Yeah, so these are just 72 stitch socks. And I'm doing them in the morning for a bit each day. Eventually, his birthday, my, Michael's birthday is this month, so we're hoping that I'll, mm. well, I, I will get them finished for Michael for his birthday. 
and we oh. are living in a, another so so yarnalicious sock bag. Oh, that's really cute. Pair the sheep on him. Who's so really so yarnalicious? She is lovely. She was at Unravel behind Ted Knits UK, and she, I bought the, that bag. We both bought a bag from her at Unravel. I bought this one. Anyway. You have to remind me which one of my bag is. Yeah, this one, Sophie got me from Yorkshire Yarn Fest, or Yarn, don't know. Have I got a yellow cord one? You've got a yellow one? cord one, yeah. I like it. I want one. I want one. We're going to Yarnville. You can have one. You can look on your website and buy one. Mm. I've got two. I don't, I don't need <laughs> I've got two. <laughs> I, don't need, I don't need another bag. No. Let's face it. Right. So, that's my vanilla sock. It's nice. To, it's always nice to have a vanilla sock on the needles, isn't it? Yeah. Because you just, you know that in any situation, yeah. you can take some knitting. So my next whip is another shawl design that I'm knitting in collaboration with the Knitting Shed. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be the next one that's coming up for testing. Um, hopefully the test, I'll get the other test started and then this test will come mm -hmm. out. This is the, calling it the Axminster <laughs> shawl. Needle in your coffee. Um, our grandparents lived in Axminster. So our mum grew Devon. up in Axminster. Our granddad was the union rep of the Axminster carpet factory. And this <laughs> just reminded me of those sort of colours. I thought you were say carpets. No. <laughs> those sort of colours. And the colours are plush oh, yeah. and winter storm. Which is the colour ray I knitted my feet yeah. on cowl in. And I just thought, like, they don't actually look as, well, this one looks quite tonal in this game. This one doesn't look as. But when you, when they're knit, when it's knit up, it has a real tonal to it. So it's got like a slip, Joe's done like a slip stitch. So from a distance, it does look mm. just like the burgundy, just the burgundy. Yeah, when you look closely and there's a, he's yeah. got the, maybe this, there you go. And... I now want a fizzy pop cow in that colour. Mm. <laughs> Beautiful. So that's the that's the section where you're increasing, and then on the straight bit in the middle, I've added this mosaic. Oh, can you see that? Can you see it? Might have to tilt it. We'll bring it a bit closer. There yeah. You go. So there's this mosaic stitch pattern, which is triangles, and then flipped. So they go into like a diamond. Look beautiful. And, and then all the way along the bottom is this yeah. edging. Um, so that when you wear it, that will be in the middle. In the middle, and you'll have very oh, nice. So I've so it definitely needs blocking, doesn't it? Yeah, it definitely needs blocking. Bottom is different. The, you've, the mosaic is always going to be a different gauge mm -hmm. than the, the but that place. it's quite because of the uh, it's quite similar to this i think because it's not really as if that was just stock and stitch oh you yeah, 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 a yeah massive difference yeah. but this is the, this is the same gauge as mm -hmm. gauge. and it'll be lovely and I've, I've steamed but it will be lovely as a wrap right around your neck because it's all it's like too let too yeah really warm yeah beautiful. and that's the center where's the center the back's the nice as well yeah <laughs> That's the centre of the panel, and then as I've just got this little bit left to do to, to and then I'll and start with decreases. decreases. But you're gonna finish the other one first, aren't you? Yeah, and the patterns, the pattern's almost written as well. So um, yeah, as I say, we'll get the first one kicked off, and then, and I'm hoping that this will launch at either Unravel or Yarndale, depending on. Mm -hmm. um, how things are going. How things are going. So that, that's two skein, that's a two skein mm -hmm. there, whereas the other one you need four, talk about that first. four skeins. So yeah, each of them is fulfilling a different need in mm -hmm. my knitting. Yeah. Which is quite nice. And it's true because I, the other day, I was knitting something that I needed my phone for the chart and somebody called me and I know that you can flip, flip up and flip up. Yeah, flip. Um, but 
when you're chatting, you don't necessarily want to be knitting from a chart, do you? And so I was, I think it was you actually, I was chatting to you. But I was sat for, we were chatting for quite a long time. And so I needed to be knitting. And I hadn't picked this up for a while, but it was there. And I started doing it and I was loving it. And then I was thinking to myself, I need to finish the other one first. I need to finish the other one first, so I can't carry on with this one. But this is my Magnolia Heaven, which was the Accessories Club um, in, May. in May. And it's still available on the Botanical Yarn yeah, website. website. And I think if you contact Sophie, you can choose. If you want to use Sophie's yarn, so one skein of mohair, one skein of full flower, you can, there's, look, she can help you pick colours and so the I'm, pattern is exclusive to Sophie for a while. Yeah, we don't. Um, <laughs> don't she doesn't wait how long do. Um, I'm using Rowan sock yarn, their new, their newest sock yarn, in this lovely coral. You'll see when I hold it up how the colour changes. And I'm also using Kid Silk Haze mohair. This has been talked about before. We will um, we'll put the details down below because I. Oh no. That's the Rowan sock, <laughs> not not the full, not the kid silk. That's shade five. No, I don't have to, because I taped it up. I their balls drive me crazy. <laughs> so how many balls have you Two, used? This, this is the first ball of mohair. So I've got no, got another one, and this is obviously I've got one. one yeah, one hundred gram. Yeah, and I am. I'm just about to finish the centre straight bit. So, so that, that's the front. And it's light as a feather. Yeah, and it's just this beautiful garter pad pattern, stripes, mohair stripes. And I love it. It's mindless. It's kind of, well, not, it's slightly less than mindless. Does that make sense? Slightly, slightly more, more than, you've got to do, yeah, to more it. than, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm obviously mindless. <laughs> so it's, but yeah, it's lovely. And so I've got, I'm over halfway now. So I will get this finished. But the other one, the one on my last whip is the one I've been working on most. So, but it's beautiful, isn't it? So that pattern will be in our Ravelry store well, at some point. point yeah. If you if you would like to knit it before then, you're going to have to go to Botanical Yarn mm -hmm. and order a skein of mohair and a skein well, of fingers. Well, all the colourway. I mean, go and look at the club, yeah. the club colourway is beautiful. Mm. But she does a lot of yeah. beautiful mohair. And a lot I of just love this dark thing. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, so that will be there. That I have, I'm showing it because I have worked on it. I'm not mm -hmm. going to show it for a while because I haven't. But um, yeah, so that's just ticking along. But and it is so light. It's living in this beautiful burst, um, botanical yarn bag that I got in Unravel, and it's just beautiful. So, what have you got left to talk about? Well, this one will be very quick because. Um, I have worked on it, so I'm going to share it, but it looks quite similar. Oh yeah, I'm just going to quickly look. talk about because you're going to talk about it. For that, 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 or no, that. that's that. I was, going to do, I was going to do the shawl and then the sock. Okay. I was going to say that about Ruth. Yeah. yeah. So this is in this little pouch for, that I bought at Beautiful Knitters from, a, it's a brand called the Cerise Le Gâteau. Cherry on top of the cake. It's the sunshine bag. Very cute, very cute. And it <coughs> has in it this yarn, which kind of mm -hmm. goes really well. This is called Betty, yeah. um, and it's lace. Oh, I think I might need a cowl in Betty and, what, and some pixie. Yeah. Yarn. Does she have much lace? Yeah. She had quite a bit of lace at the block. And this is oh. my plain, as a Cecil. The Cecil numbers, it was just a garter stitch crescent. So um, that's your kind of mindless yeah. potato chip. It's what I take to work. Um, 
and it's just got an eye cord on either edge and it's a starter and it's been doing the same numbers as, as a Cecil. And this is a present, isn't it? It's a present, yeah. Better get on with it. <laughs> well, we'll see. I'm sure the person who isn't going to be using it until later in the year, because they don't mind, can show them the progress. But I think it's, um, and well, obviously you wouldn't put nylon in, in lace weight, because you don't need nylon in. No. So it's merino and silk. It's beautiful. I like the twist on it. Yeah. So uh, <coughs> yeah, get on the Pixie website. I'm going to. Choosing. It is 800 metres. So it's slightly looser, but mm. you could knit it, you could go down and needle. Yeah. needle. Yeah. It wouldn't make much difference. No. And you did it. I know you're going to get them. Yeah, so I knitted that. I knitted, my don't want I knitted my woolen flower on yeah. 3.5. And in there, I'm keeping my friend, my friend Mandy and, had her, daughter. and her daughter have a candle company. Don't crinkle. Have a candle company called What the Wild Glow. And they also do wax melts. Mm, They're based in Edinburgh. They're all handmade, hand poured. And she sent me some little samples of her wax melts. This one's it's, it's, it's called rose water. And they smell amazing. Mm -hmm. But I, at the moment, am not burning yeah. <laughs> wax melts. But they smell so good. I'm just popping keeping them, them, popping them in my knitting bags <laughs> so that everything smells nice. What's your last oh, whip? Oh, my last whip is my thing that I can't put down. <laughs> I love it so much. Is that bag for you to keep? Oh, and I've lost is that a stitch. gonna be a, um, is that a prototype bag? Um, yeah, I got this at the dye studio, open day studio, the dye studio. This is, I didn't show it last time because I left it in the other room. Let me just take out the ones that I'm using. Yeah, so this bag is from Botanical Yarn, and it is a prototype of one of the ones. I really like the handle. Yeah. So I've I got all these minis. Ooh, the bag of chewing gum in here. <laughs> I got all these minis from either Joe or Maggie. All the ones that were wound up were from Maggie. <laughs> <laughs> Funny enough. So la last Christmas we did a a yarn a a mini swap. swap. Yeah, we and did. We the three of us each gave the yeah. other two 12 minutes. Yeah. So I picked these ones that all kind of go together. So I've still got to wind that one up. Oh, open my bag for <laughs> me. So I am um, test knitting for Jo. It is a very simple pattern, so she's not having a, not having a proper test, test knit. knit. Um, and I'm being very, if very... If you watch the podcast, you might remember the shoreline knit oh, the is... minis from um, the Carmen mm -hmm. yarn that I got at Unravel, which mine was like a ruin, like burgundies and pinks and some mustard. Yours was quite dark, wasn't it? Yeah. Whereas mine... Which was just very joyful. Yes. So you just start with two colours and then you, after 12 stripes, you change one of them. And, um, and you do that every 12. So you get 24 stripes of each colour, but you change, halfway they change. That's simple. So it's like a... Well, I'm trying to describe that in the pattern. Oh, quite difficult. And Rach doesn't like my, the words I've used. So she's been tasked with coming up with a better description. I obviously couldn't... <laughs> couldn't do it then so, yeah so these are this is, I'm, and i'm about 10 repeats from halfway well from the center the center bit mm. but i'm loving it so it's got this little lace here yeah. on the border and i'm going to translate this into a sock so we have the maggie sock because they're going to raise money for maggie center um at Specifically, at, at, now, isn't this funny? When I join my yarn in, yeah. I join it in on the wrong side. Yeah, but mm. how can I? How have I done it? Then? I don't know. <laughs> so it's 
Um, I'll tell you how I do it. Okay. They're going, they're going, they're just going to yeah, go down. Yeah, they're going to go in Daniel. Yeah. So this is, um, yeah, so there's going to be a sock pattern eventually. And all the money is going to go, go to, to Maggie Centre out in Oxford. Yeah. Because they're the ones that look after me so much. They're amazing. Yeah, so hopefully this will be out pretty soon. Yeah. So I am going to finish it. She's found one mistake in my counting. <laughs> that then translated to every row. Yes, but... So all, all the numbers are wrong. Yeah, but... Yeah, but... but one mistake. Yeah. No, but isn't it beautiful? And I can imagine also doing a two-colour one mm. where you just stripe all the way along. And also... Um, you could do like the fade with the with one with so the you, background. No. Oh no. Yeah. I would start with. I would start at the light end of one fade and dark end of another. And go it like that. Mm. Yeah, that would be nice. So yeah, Maggie shawls. You could and also how many rows and just divide it up so that you don't because you if you just do twelve you'd have to start again. No, yeah, you wouldn't do 12. You just carry on till it ran out. Yeah. yeah. So you get the whole fade. But you don't use two whole skeins, so you would get... Anyway. It, but I'm sure it would look nice. It would look nice, like yeah. You but might you... do four minis. You might do... Yeah. Um, and the other thing, just to mention about that, is that it's actually named after our lovely friend Maggie, who's amazing. She was testing it so many, you can test it or every single thing I've designed, and she has done quite a lot for you as well, hasn't she? She's amazing. We love you, Maggie. She's a big Morris fan. And now you've got, <laughs> now you've got, now you've got patterns named after you. <laughs> As a big thank you. Cool. And hopefully, you're going to raise loads of money for Maggie Centre. Yeah, they are amazing. So my final. Have you done all your whips now? Then. Yeah. My final whip is a pair of socks. So I'm knitting a sock for the for Ruth Loves to Knit Dust them Off Pal. Yeah, so Ruth Loves to Knit has got a podcast and she's having a Dust them Off Cal, which is basically any pattern that you've had in your pattern stash. Before 1st of July, July when the cal started. Yeah. Could I have the sock book? Mm -hmm. So I'm knitting these in, this is, these are the Una Socks. These are my. They, this part. This is. They, mine were part of the cow. Mm. I finished mine. Yeah. Just saying. <laughs> you enjoy knitting <laughs> socks more than I do. I. She's I, making herself do a pattern repeat a day. <laughs> I'm doing one pattern repeat a day. They're beautiful though. I don't know why. You, I want to knit on them all the time. Yeah, but I've got other things. They're so. To knit. They're so. Um, the yarn, the yarn is beautiful. beautiful. So the yarn is from Canada. It's called cranberry. It's quite rustic, actually, but it's so. It's just looks super so merino and nylon. Cushy. Um, it's called cran. The colourway is cranberry, and it's from Celtic or Celtic Raven fibres. Can you see? Celtic. You say Celtic. Celtic. Oh, it's got an H. Yeah, Celtic's got an H in it. Yeah. Celtic Raven fibres in. Halifax, I believe. Halifax, Nova Scotia, not Halifax. Yorkshire. Yorkshire. And I'm just, well, one, I wanted to show you the foot because the colours look, look, just look amazing. The tonal. And I'm really loving the pattern. It's quite a simple lace. And I'm also liking these three little garter stitches on the heel. I think it's going to be quite big. Joanna's discovered the Hermione's heel. Oh, you put me in there. <laughs> I like your... I don't like the pie of No, I hate it. I hate it. Um, <laughs> but I do like the three little funny garter stitches because I think it's just great, great and perfect. It's perfect sock. It's basically perfect. So... From now on, I'm going to be doing three little garters, but just an ordinary slip stitch. Yeah. And I was thinking, oh, maybe I'll gift these to Rach. And then I thought, 
She hates that heel, yeah. so they won't be coming to you. No, and also, I have hundreds of pairs of socks. I know, but nobody ever knits you socks. No, they don't. Maggie does. Maggie's knitted me socks mm. before. Yeah. yeah. My, that's my last whip. So I'm doing a few rows a day, eight rows, it's an eight row repeat. So I'm doing eight rows a day, and... Um, you let it done. It's, it, there's, the cows run until the end of the year. Yeah. So she's actually got loads of time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm going to do my next them. thing, I think. Next, what we're going to do next from the, yeah. the cow. I think you should look on Ravelry and see the pattern that you've mm. had the longest that you haven't knit. Yeah. And you know what? I didn't bring... Ruth sent me a, us a beautiful skein of yarn. Mm. But I've already caked it up because it's potentially going to be my Alpen bloom. <laughs> so I will show it when I yeah, talk about that. But I um, did receive that this week. What about acquisitions? Is that bad? Is that it? I've had a two. I've got two bags. Should we talk about these ones? Yeah. So was that when we went to? No. We were in the car together we're on the way to, to flock. flock. And we were looking at, I don't know if you've seen them, the Fibre Co have like a pouch, a bucket, like a tote, and a big, and a proper hand, like a mm. handbag, but they're project bags. Excuse me. They're in waxed canvas with a lovely, like, floral inside. And Joe's looked at them many times and I, so we decided we were going to have one and then somehow we ended up with something completely different. <laughs> oh, not completely different. A different thing that's... That's wax, similar. yeah. So, without further ado, <laughs> we purchased two knitting barber bags. So they open up, they've got a handle on the back, the lovely leather. Mm. And they open up there and then they sit. So they would sit very well yeah. like a bucket. If you can bring that, hold that over. <laughs> Working out how to work them while we're on the podcast, which everything. Yeah, so there you go. So that would bucket. fold it's over. It's got a like... zip pocket in the I'm going to show it because I've opened mine up. So it's easier to show. There's a zip pocket in the back with leather detail and you could definitely fit a sweater in there couldn't you yeah so yeah very nice and mine's um called, i think it's called army green but it looks quite gray green isn't it? Mm -hmm. and joe's is black and they've both got this mustardy Colour to mine? No. no. Inside. Mine's got, you used to got the label on all. No. Mine just says black. No, I took my label off. Right. Yeah. So I think as you use it, it gets softer, yeah. even, doesn't it? And then. Well, I don't know if I want it softer. Because it might not stand mm. up if it's softer. So, but I think it's quite handy if you've got, a few, if you're going for a day. Knitting somewhere, you could put, and you've got want to put a couple of projects, yeah, in it, or one big sweater or something. You do, you do. Then it off there. Can you go Can you use it for something else? Perhaps yeah. you go over the top or something if you've got a really got a lot in it. Oh, maybe that's true. I don't know, but it's quite um, a nice little detail, though, isn't it? Yeah. Um. But yeah. If you if you um, have ham your handbag and that. That's yeah. quite a nice thing to carry, carry around with your projects in. But yeah, so we've got that. And then Rachel surprised me yesterday with a little pouch from Jimmy Musso's. With bunnies Bunny. on. And I also got something else, didn't I? Yeah, I haven't bought it with me because it's not anything related. It was a mug from White Company. With a heart it's on it. Cute. Yeah, I like this bunny. <laughs> and then 
I um, could, well, I've been, you know, I've designed a couple of patterns for the, Mar the Flower Power Fund for Marie Curie. Okay, and um, every month, so they have a few patterns, people design patterns, and then every month a different yarn dye, a dye some yarn, oh, and there's a, usually a project bag as well. And I bought, I managed to resist for a long time, <laughs> but I bought the Belika yarn tulip, the tulips bag. I didn't buy the yarn. And then this, this did she month. Do, did she do the yarn as well? That month? No. Yeah. And then this month, I the yarn was um, dyed by Allium Fibres, Allium Threads, sorry. And the project bag was by Bertie and Poppet. I think they're called something else. Anyway, we'll, we'll link the. Um, <laughs> and it's just so this was this caught my eye straight away. Oh, it's lovely. And it's just stunning. And it comes with this little marker, Aww. our focus keeper, I think. Yeah. And inside, it's just, there's no, um, no, it is Bertie and Poppet. And it's got this lovely little flower. Oh, I thought it was lovely. Like, I think it was lovely. So there's like flower power. And, oh, it's really cute. And then, um, Alien Thread, so she naturally dyes her yarn, and she had two colourways. She had Sunset and Sunrise. So Sunset with these lovely, and it's like a, she'd knitted a tube, and it's like micro stripes. Mm. And the other one is blue and like a purple. Those colours are gorgeous. Yeah, gorgeous. and so I, so every, so there's all the yarn, there's all the, all the yarns that are dyed. But people also knit the sock, buy the yarn, then knit the socks and donate the socks. Because Sarah, who started the Flower Power Fund, tries to get a pair of socks for every person in hospice at Christmas. And they like them to be yellow because of Marie Curie. So this would count. Yeah. So I'm going to knit just a vanilla pair of socks. And they also, not everybody knits, people normally knit like 64 stitches. And, so I'm going to knit a, big, yeah, a bigger pair. Like a size eight or something. Yeah. So lovely, aren't it's lovely, isn't it? I think I'll enjoy knitting that. So Ali and Feds, I think I'm not sure if these are available because it will be. What's acorn socks? Oh, acorn socks. That's the that's the um, what she calls this base. Oh, right. Yeah, and then it's the colourway sunset. Mm. So yeah, and that was my only yarn purchase since the last popcorn. Wow. Oh, because we I had just any yarn. We did. We did, we have, did have quite a lot of yarn in the last the month, like leading up to flock. Mm. We had quite a lot. So yeah, so we're trying to rein it in until the Arndale. <laughs> and um, we've never been to Arndale before. No, and we're staying away. Staying away from I, what did I watch? I watched the podcast. Oh, what's it called? I, I'm one of their patrons. Um, Kite Cocktail out at the coop? No. Um, the one where she had Fruity knitting. Away. Fruity knitting. She had an interview with the the, the guy who owns Laxton's oh, yarn. Yeah. I've got yeah. this crush on him. <laughs> Joe's looking forward to seeing him. <laughs> <laughs> He's done amazing things mm. for the yarn industry. I just was like, you were an inspiration. We'll we'll put down below what episode which episode yeah. it is. Yeah, no, it's well a worth for a, us. Well worth a well worth a watch. So Joe's going on holiday at the end of the month and beginning of August. So we're not hundred percent sure if we're gonna manage to meet up to podcast before we go to the Isle of Man. So we're going to visit our dad on the 11th of August and we may podcast from yeah. the Isle of Man. We may, we may record, although we can't take a lot of stuff with us. So it'll be just what we're mm. 
what we're doing. I was thinking that the weekend before, if Chris is going to that football match, you could, if Mark would drive you over, we could podcast from my house, but that's just an idea. Yeah, so we'll see. So, yeah, just like and subscribe and hit the notification bell, and then when we do podcast, you will know. That's exciting. <laughs> You might no. get to meet our dad. Yeah. <laughs> but thank you to everybody who does watch because... Yeah, we had some really lovely comments on yeah. the last podcast. Um, it really keeps us going. Yeah. Because, I mean, it's just weird that our... I don't know, understand how the algorithm gets... How you get seen. I've seen this week somebody who has one episode has nine and a half thousand views. But only has only like 900 people have subscribed so i don't know what's what makes you feel worse <laughs> to have 10 like literally 10,000 people view your podcast and not subscribe mm. or have some lo you know like a lovely little community where people you haven't got that many subscribers but people actually watch what you put out there so i think the latter i think the latter and yeah. Well, I guess our podcast is a little bit different because we talk about our designs a mm. lot and we don't knit Other people petite pattern. knit mm. and we don't knit um, Rosetta. Yeah. 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 So I don't know if that's um, part, of, part it. of it. But anyway, those of you who do watch us, we, have we really, are very grateful. Yeah. We love sharing our stuff with you. And as long as you want to watch, we'll keep making them. Yeah. And last episode, I didn't like reply i liked every comment but i didn't reply to them because of the because of the giveaway mm -hmm. so but you know normally i do so <laughs> if you want to leave a comment yeah. i will we can get into a little chat if you like <laughs> and if you've won a prize get in touch yeah um i will get in touch with some of pe some of the people yeah. But um, and it's been lovely. We've had often a... people get in touch with yeah. me first before I get in touch with I've me. really enjoyed this episode, sharing yeah. all our, sharing all, even though I didn't have any FO. Next time there'll be lots. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So thanks everyone. There might even be socks next time. Oh, don't say that. Put a jinx on it. Don't like get our hopes up, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Put a jinx on it. Say something and it yeah. never happens. Right. Well, this will be going up later today, which is Friday. So have a good weekend, everybody. Yeah. We'll get lots of knitting done. We'll be, I'm going to be watching both Wimbledon finals and trying to get my salty IT finished. Yes. Good plan. Mm. I'm going to, I'm going to be trying to finish the, weekend, the shawl, it? the coffee yeah. art shawl. Yeah. Cool. Thanks, Take everybody. Care, everyone. Bye. Bye.